I'm Jeremy Kaplan from Digital Trends. We're here at Microsoft's latest event where we're unveiling the newest Surface products, including the Surface Pro 4, of course, and this right here, the Microsoft Surface Book. Microsoft calls it the ultimate laptop. It's, in fact, the first laptop the company has ever released. If you're Toshiba, if you're Dell, if you're HP, that's got to be a little bit annoying. But what are you going to do? Microsoft's clearly invested in a whole new world of devices. So let's take a look at it here. He's got a interesting new hinge design down here on the bottom. Right here we've got the HDMI port as well as the power port. It's the same port that we saw on the other Surface Pro products. Nice shiny logo here on the back. Not much to see. Just that hinge, of course. On the other side, on the base station here, we've got uh, a card slot, an SD card slot, and two USB 3 ports. Those are the fast ones. And what you see here is a new way for the pen to attach. Instead of having that loop, which was a little bit wonky before, there's a magnetic strip here in the screen, which locks it right in place. And you see it doesn't connect so well here. The magnets really slip it right in. Seems like a pretty good way to hold it in place. And we've got a camera here on top of the display. There's another camera inside as well. Let's open it up and take a look. So Microsoft's saying it's got an incredible array of specs, and it really does. I've got the thing right here. We can read through them. It's a sixth generation Intel Core i5, a five megapixel front facing camera, eight megapixels in the back. That's a pretty decent camera. I don't think you're gonna go out and take any pictures with this thing. It's a little bit heavy for that. You probably want an actual camera, but still good to have that. Uh, it's a Intel Core i5 HD graphics. So really high end specs for sure. Microsoft saying 12 hours of battery life here. The way that works, there's three quarters of the battery on the base down here, and there's another quarter of them that are up in the display itself. So we're running Windows 10, of course, which is a great experience if you haven't used it. It is really nice. Notifications on the side. Here's the new resizable start menu. Very good experience. Uh, what's cool about this is that it undocks, so there's a button right here. Can you see that? A nice a new button right in the keyboard. You put your finger on it, and all of a sudden we get a little message ready to attach, and then the screen just pops right out. So all of a sudden you've got yourself a tablet. If you use the earlier tablet, so this is a, about a 14 inch screen, 13 and a half, what they call it a pixel sense display. If you use the earlier Surface products, you might have noticed that they were a little bit heavy as a tablet. It looks like a great reading experience if you have a book or a, a newspaper or a magazine or something you're displaying on here. In fact, it was a little bit heavy. This is noticeably lighter in the hands and definitely a lot crisper as well. 267 pixels, uh, pixel density, uh, pixels per inch that is, which is really high. Uh, it's a three to two aspect ratio, the same thing Microsoft's been using before. They say it's based off an A4 sheet of paper, which makes sense if you're in the, U the UK, we don't use those here in the US, but docking it is as simple as that. You get the green note for attached and then you can see it clings right on. Really designed to be a great laptop. And the balance seems pretty good too. There's definitely a lot more weight up here than there is down here. But at first glance, it looks like it's gonna sit really nicely on your lap. The keyboard has a really nice action. Microsoft is very proud of the effort they've made over the years in typing and in keyboard development. They've been doing it for longer than anyone, really. The key action here feels pretty darn good. We'll have to do some more testing to really get a good feel for it. Starting at $1,500, it's going to run up very high very quickly. They're saying you can pack uh, up to 16 gigs of RAM in here, up to a terabyte of storage space. All of those specs are definitely going to make those prices go up. Um, but when you're talking about a high-end laptop, you're going to expect to pay a lot. And that's really what this is. They're calling it the ultimate laptop. We're looking forward to getting one of the labs to test one out. Stick around. You should have one shortly. I'm Jeremy Kaplan. This is Digital Trends, and you're looking at the Microsoft Surface Book.